Welcome back to Call of the Wild. So there's been a really big update that just hit Call of the Wild and this is a big deal. This thing is game changing. First off, they did a complete reset. All of the need zones on our entire map are completely gone. So that means if we go to our map and we scroll around, I used to have probably like 10 or 15 need zones here between moose, elk, black bear, all the way over here. Every single need zone on our map is completely gone. And that's what I meant by saying the reset is gonna hit. A lot of people are asking the question, what does the reset actually mean? Well, now you know. All of our need zones are completely gone. But the cool part is, first off, we have a backpack on right now. And notice on the bottom right corner, you can see we aren't making any noise. Before, we used to make noise, even when we were sitting in a tripod. Now, the second thing I noticed is when you pull up the binoculars, it seems to be a lot more efficient, as you can see right here. Look at how fast this thing pulls up. I don't remember it ever pulling up this fast. Okay, so we actually have a couple of nice bucks out here. Ooh, that's a really good buck. These are all completely different animals. I've never seen them before, and this is pretty amazing. Now the second, actually the third part that I wanted to talk to you guys about is the tents. Now I already had, I think, uh, what was it like? Seven tents we could have had on our map. And I just went out and I set out another 10 more tents. And I think that's how many, I think you can actually have 20 tents now instead of, it used to be only seven or eight. I think you can have 20. I'm not 100% sure, but either way, that's a ton of tents. And so yeah, I've been setting them out all morning now and we have a tent here. We have a tent all the way over on this part now of High Lake. I have one set up over, I always had one here, but now I have one on the opposite side. So you literally can go from one side to the other side. And these tents are gonna be game changing, I'm telling you. Now I have a tent down here and uh, let's just get back to the hunt here. So this is gonna be a big deal. There's so many things to talk about and I just wanna hunt, but we did not get that moose. It actually shows right here, no organs hit. But if you see this here, this is the circle. That means that moose went down. So that also means we should lose our consecutive harvest. And it's gonna be interesting to see if it actually works. Shot looked pretty good. And left lung shot. There it is. There it is, guys. It works. It works. We lost our consecutive harvest and we still got a gold. I mean, this, it deserves to be heard. The devs did an incredible job. You can tell I'm pretty excited about this update that just hit because, man, it's pretty awesome. All right, so we got a really nice white tail out here at about 240. And we happen to have the Mosin Nagant Sniper on us, is what I like to call it. And even though that's not a very good angle, we could still, actually, I'm not even gonna hesitate with this. We're gonna put out a call, see if we can get him to turn a little bit. He might, oh yeah, he definitely heard that. Wow, I did not expect them to hear that at 200 yards out, that's him. Shot look good. And I just realized <laughs> we never actually got the need zone, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll just go over there and pick up either the tracks of the need zone or we can wait for them to come back. Now you might be wondering why I didn't just spot them so we could get the need zone. Well, it's because all morning I've been going around trying to not spot any animals so I wouldn't get any need zones specifically so we could wait for you guys to be here before we started gathering them and it's still in my head to not spot them. So yeah, that's why we didn't spot them. Anyways, let's go over and go pick them up and see what's going on. All right, so we're just about to pick up our buck, but before we do that, we wanna pick up the need zone. By doing that, we'll actually pick up the track here and that should be the need zone right there. A white tail need zone from 12 until 1500. And now we will have the need zone. So when we go over here and take a look at our big buck, Actually, we ended up getting two bucks, so which buck is the one that we ended up getting first? It doesn't matter now because our consecutive harvest, but either way, we'll pick up the smaller of the two. And it looks like we actually do have consecutive here. So we'll have to be able to figure that out here in the next test. But this is gonna be a nice buck. 
And he is a really nice buck. 939 score. Double long shot at 237 yards. That is a massive buck with a trophy rating of 258.2. Yeah, we got to get this guy mounted. He almost weighed enough to be a diamond. But wow, that's a, that's a great looking buck. 939 score. Let's definitely get this guy mounted. All right, well, that honestly happened a lot faster than I expected. I just wanted to give an intro of what was going on here. I didn't plan on seeing anything, but since we already saw a monster whitetail, now I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. We're going to change the time to 5 o'clock in the morning, start on the very south end of the map, work our way all the way to the north end, pick up every need zone that we can, and get as many animals as we can, a bunch of cash, and try and find some diamonds. All right, so we got a coyote out here at about 400 yards out. Now, I actually set up a tripod here for some moose, but... Since we have this coyote out here, we'll mark this need zone, find out where it's at, right next to our tent. <laughs> I was literally just sitting in this tripod and nothing came in and now we have a coyote right here from 3.30 till 7.30. So that's a 400 yard shot, 419, but we do have the sniper on us, so if we zero him for 3.20, And beautiful shot. Wow. That was a pretty good ways out there. Right long shot at 421 yards. Very nice shot. And on top of that, 1,200 cash. In fact, that might be the farthest shot I've ever made on a coyote. All right, next up, it looks like we have a moose. We have a cow moose out here, but there's a couple more moose in the back. I can't quite tell what they are. You never know, there could be a bull in there, and a lot of times I won't just take the first shot that I see, but in this case, we're not really gonna be too patient. 260 yards out, we do have the 300 on us, so we'll zero in for 320. We're using the soft points because I think we'll only get a single lung. And that was actually, okay, yeah, good. Yeah, the way I look at it is, if you think you can only get a single lung, then just use the soft points. And if you think you can get double lung, then yeah, definitely go for the polymer tips. Oh, oh hold on, another moose right here. Shaking like crazy. Shot looked pretty good. Definitely should have been at least single lung and or liver. So in case you don't know, if you have need zones like this, you can take up to three animals without the need zone actually removing. I wouldn't recommend taking more than two, but yeah, supposedly you can take up to three. However, if you're in a tripod stand and or a tree stand, I think you can take up to almost 15. And left lung shot at 261, not bad. See, take a look at this, 261, and we still got a 95% with the saw points. So that's pretty solid. All right, well, it looks like our other moose is down right here. Now, there is a need zone here, but I'm pretty sure. This is some good advice for you, too. If you see something that looks like this, nine times out of ten, this is probably a jackrabbit need zone. So you don't necessarily want to pick it up. Otherwise, your entire map is going to be covered with jackrabbit need zones. And I made the mistake when I first got called the wild. That's what my maps look like. Anyways, let's pick this one up. We did get left lung at 159. All right, so we just spotted a whole herd of whitetails, about 250 out. We actually decided to set up a tripod here. We're going to hop up in here and take a look. There they are out there. And what do we have here? Nice buck there. Pretty good buck there. Small and a bunch of does. That looks to be a good buck there, maybe like a 850, close to 900. So what we're gonna try and do is pull out the Mosin here. How far, is that 300 yards? Dang, that is 300 yards. Okay, so in this case, I think we're gonna hold off on this big buck here. And we're actually gonna use the 300 Magnum. Try and take down a couple different bucks. Oh, he's not, he's not as big as I thought. So in that case, we're actually gonna just use this and see if we can't take down a couple. It's a real good buck, but we'll still take him down. Shot was high. 
That one should be hit. That one should be hit. So even if you hit them in the flesh with the 300, they definitely should go down. As you can see, there's a couple down over there. Got to do it here. Try. That should have been a solid hit. Where is she? Yeah, she's definitely going down. She's down right there, as you can see. And we got a Kyle Moose trying out here. So she slows down. That's decent. We will get long out of that. Yep. All right. So we'll actually just leave this tripod set up here because it's not a bad spot. And the reason we actually use a 300 on some of these white tail is because at this distance, you really can't get too many more than just one um, with the Mosin because you're going to lose a lot of power and penetration. So that's why we decided to use the 300. And nothing was big enough to be really impressive. So what do we have calling over here? Oh, bull moose. Maybe we should have stayed there a little bit longer because we might have seen this bull. I might see him either way. We'll take a look when we get over here. But yeah, we're going to get a bunch of cash and that's the most important thing. Eh, not very impressive of a bull, so we'll just hold off on him. So yeah, I probably should have told you, this is kind of like my new thing. Anything that's small or kind of medium size, I usually just use a 300, take them down, get a bunch of cash really quick. And fast and efficient. You don't have to worry about getting a flesh hit. And even if you do get a flesh hit, they still go down really quick. And if anything's going to be big or dime potential, well, most of the time, I use the bow. But if it's just big, then there's a good chance I'll probably just use the right weapon. So this was the first buck, I believe. It's a real nice buck. Probably like an 830s, but obviously we use a 300. Eh, decent buck. I'm really curious if we're going to actually lose our consecutives eventually. Right lung shot at 307, not a bad size whitetail. Also another thing, a lot of times when I'm hunting, I don't like to use the tracks. Got a black bear out there at about 418. So this could work out pretty decent. Obviously you can't use a 300, but it's a female. There she is. How far is she? 418 I said? Felt pretty good. Was it a miss? Might have been a miss. Might have been too high. I don't remember what distance she was at. Oh, she smoked now. She's going down. How far? I thought I said 418, but maybe. Holy! 457. So she actually would have been like 418 then. Okay. So we'll mark that spot. And go get her in a second, but we have a couple of white tail down over here we have to pick up. But yeah, I don't really like to use the tracks when I'm playing because it's more realistic to me. And when I'm using the tracks, well, when I'm not using the tracks, it's pretty difficult to find animals that you flesh it. Tell you that. But it looks like this is our second buck down here. Not a bad sized buck. We ended up hitting him a little bit high, but 327. Got a doe down here. I honestly thought we hit another one, but I could be wrong. Something's calling over here. Can't tell. Grab this doe. This was a pretty decent shot here, intestine at 360. But I feel like we probably hit another one that ran this way in the flesh. I honestly don't remember, but if we did or if we didn't, oh. Well, that's a good answer. <laughs> I was kind of hoping we wouldn't find it because... Oh, is this the moose? It is the moose. Oh, okay. Left lung at 364. By the way, we just got those white tails right here at 5.30 till 9.30 in the morning. So now we have two white tail lead zones. One right here by the Belmont Railroad Bridge, 5.30 till 9.30, and one right here is where we got that 939 score in white tail from 12 until 15, which is on the very south end of the map. Got Runchi here, just go right to the east and south, right here, or southeast, I should say. What do we have calling over here now? Another bear. Okay, 285. We don't have a need zone here, but that is extra cash, so let's get on them and get ready and try and take a shot. That bear should be smoked. It is. And I thought we made a first good shot. That should have been spinal cord, honestly. 
Looks like we drilled the vertebrae at 426. We put a follow-up in it at 433 and drilled the front shoulder. All right, we got a coyote out here at about 150. Just sitting out there. See if we can pull out the Mosin real quick. Don't turn away. Oh, that smoked. Got him. All right, so we should be able to find him in a second, but first, need to go over here and pick up our bear. Left lung liver at 295, 1100 cash. Okay, so I took a look around and I didn't see a needle anywhere, but double lung shot at 162. And looks like we have a female black bear out here at about 200 yards out. We'll pick up the need zone as we're at it. And let's take a shot. Can't really see her very good, but I feel like we had on her pretty good. And she's down. And here she is. But if you look right over there, I just saw a coyote. And I'm pretty sure that might be the coyote's need zone. So let's pick up this bear. I ended up a bit high on that. That was kind of a lucky shot. Spinal cord, but I'll still take it. 1100 cash. So I saw a coyote over here. And I see tracks here. That's actually from a jackrabbit. So I would have been wrong if I picked up that need zone. Right here's the coyote track. And I think that those must be the jackrabbit need zones. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look over there. Look over there. Whole herd of whitetails. I thought that was a diamond at first. That's why I was freaking out, but... Just a decent sized one. It's a pretty good herd of bucks. Wow. There could be a giant in there. Sometimes if you find... Well, not sometimes. A lot of times if you find more than, say, 10 deer in a single herd... There's a good chance there could be a diamond in it. But in this case, I don't think so. Okay, so these bucks are about 200 yards out. That one's a good buck. And we should definitely be able to call him in. So, we're going to use the Mosin. But first, set up this bad boy here. I don't think that would have spooked him. Nope, it didn't. That's pretty cool, because we can set up a tripod. They're 200 yards out, and now we should be able to call them in. All right, there's our buck right there. He's 140 out, and I think we're gonna go for a shot. Should be smoked. Let's actually pull out the 300 here quick. See if we can get a follow up. Oh, there they all go. Let's just watch to see. Take a doe for a bonus. She's going down. Another good buck there. I want to take the smaller buck. And we might be able to get one more. The reason we're taking this many down is because we're in a tripod. So we don't have to worry about losing our need zone. And she should be smoked. Yep, she dropped right there. He should be hit as well. All right, so I think we did all right. Ended up with probably like four out of that. I think one with the Mosin and three with the 300. Let's go over and go find out. So basically, when I find a big herd of animals, I always set up a tripod. That way I can take out more than just three animals without losing the need zone. As you can see, our need zone's still here from 5.30 until 9 o'clock. The funny thing is, I actually saw a coyote, and we came over here to check out the coyote need zone. And sure enough, we end up finding a huge whitetail need zone. So it just goes to show you, we don't always want to take the first thing you see. So first we're gonna grab our nice white tail here. We made a 150 yard shot, I would say. 137, nice gold, 846, double lung shot. And then, I believe we hit another one like right here. Oh, when did this happen? Do you see that? 
look in the top right corner. It says no organs hit. Now, I think that means flesh. I think they changed it from flesh hit to no organs hit. That is so cool and so realistic. But since it is a 300, <laughs> even with no organs hit, it's still gonna go down. Yep, blood rate low. So I think one of these should be it. Yeah, we're at 25% right there. We'll grab this one on the way. Intestine hit. So that would have said non-vital hit probably. And it is down right there. So I guess we'll find out if it was actually a flesh hit. And it says no organs hit now. Could be interesting. Yep. That was flesh. No organs hit. That's the new flesh. No organs hit. Love it. And I think we have two more down over here. This is uh, not a bad buck. Liver stomach at 334. And double lung shot at 313. So after all that, our need zone is still there. And the best part is we're working our way into moose territory now. And this area here is really good for moose at nine o'clock until 13. So apparently this is a good spot because we have a moose, a coyote, and a black bear. All right here. Which one do we go for first? I kind of want the coyote. Cow moose, eh. All right, coyote, 217. Should be good. Looked money to me, and he's down. Sure, the black bear spooked. No, a black bear did not spook. In that case, let's bust out the 300 and get ourselves a bonus. That is definitely a bonus. And looks like we have another moose need zone here. 150 on this bull. Let's go for a shot on him. Started walking, but I think we still ended up getting him. Oh, did we or did we? Is that? We didn't get a very good hit. And in that case, that moose might go down and it might affect our consecutive harvest in a good way. Well, only for us to be able to test it, but. And here's a coyote. Ended up getting a gold out of that. Double lung shot at 234. A very nice shot, 812. And here's our black bear. Right lung shoulder blade shot at 224. 1100 cash. Okay guys, this is the ultimate test. That moose was right here. It was the only animal we took a shot at right here. We did not get that moose. It actually shows right here, no organs hit. But if you see this here, this is the circle. That means that moose went down. So that also means we should lose our consecutive harvest. And it's gonna be interesting to see if it actually works. All right, so we just got eyes on our first decent bull right out there at about 400 yards out. Real good bull. I don't know if we can get a single lung at this distance, so we're probably gonna get closer. So we got to about 320, and this Kyle is kind of blocking the vitals, but at the same time, I feel like we should be able to sneak one right on that front shoulder and be able to get a single lung. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, she just barely picked her head up. But luckily we squeezed one off and we got it. <laughs> I was a little bit late on that shot. Man, that was close. Especially at that distance, she was literally swinging her head up as the bullet was zinging across and man, that was close. Man, that's a nice block. Look at that. No way. Jackpot, baby. 
Resting zone right there, 70 yards from us. Massive whitetail buck. Wow, that's incredible. He's still 30, quartering quite a bit. You can kind of see there, I guess. Definitely looked like a good hit. He's down. Perfect. From the angle that he was at, I was kind of going for like lung and spine. And since he didn't exactly drop, I was thinking, eh, might've only got single lung, but it looks like we did indeed get double lung. Anyways, let's pick up this bull. Ended up with a uh, right lung shot at 300 yards out. Only a silver, but we still have our consecutive somehow. I would not have expected that. All right, here's our buck, and of course it's gonna start pouring raining, but it is a nice gold, 862, and we only did get a single lung. I honestly thought you had to get double lung with a bow, but uh, I'll take it. Oh, got a bull elk out there. All right, so it looks like we might be able to get this bull and this cow. Well, we're gonna get on this bull here. Shot looked pretty good. And left lung shot. There it is. There it is, guys. It works. It works. We lost our consecutive harvest and we still got a gold. Zero percent. This is amazing. I wanted that to happen for so long and it finally came true. The devs finally did it and Wow, th this is definitely game changing. Never again will you have to go out and risk having your game crash after you have a monster diamond downed. You'll never have to worry about that. Now, you get them down, you can go over there and pick them up with the biggest smile on your face. Wow. So there it is, it works. That's a pretty good looking bull. About 180 out, pretty broadside. And he's going down. It looks like we'll take down the cow as well for a bonus. Wait till she turns. Or we'll try for brain. And she's down. Might as well pick her up. Skull, brain, and jaw. A 0% consecutive harvest again. So are we going to get a gold out of this? Because it definitely should be a gold bull. And we are. 882 score. We ended up with 100% on the quick kill on that. At 180 yards out. And that is pretty incredible because we only have 40% consecutive harvest on that and we're still getting the gold out of that because consecutive harvests are no more. And I think that's gonna be a really good way to end this video. So I wanna thank you guys so much for all the amazing support. And I wanna thank the devs. You guys did an amazing job and thank you for making this game great again. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Great looking bull. Great looking bull. These true rack bull moose are definitely some of the best true racks in game.